Wyatt's been getting his race truck ready to hopefully go to the track in a couple days. I think we mentioned it in a couple videos ago that you got the rear end changed out of this thing. Yep. Got so the old D Max one right there. Yeah, this one's out of the original truck here, uh, out of the 03 Duramax. It's an AM 11.5. Uh, got it pulled out, got the other one completed and built and put in the truck. And uh, we actually saved about 70 pounds going from this one to the new differential. So any little bit of weight we can get will definitely help. So since Wyatt got a new rear end put into his truck, the uh, the yoke that comes off of there, is that the right word? The, uh, yeah, the yoke flange. The part uh, that comes off the rear end there yeah, is the a little- The pinion yoke it's a little farther, a different location. It's a little farther back. So you had yeah. to lengthen the drive shaft a little bit. Yep. So we had to lengthen the drive shaft. So you go, now we came to our friends. You guys know we're back here. Universal drive shafts and uh, so you can uh, at least check it out. Yeah, I mean, they I'm got excited. us a fresh unit here. Yeah, he said we're gonna be really pumped about this one. Oh, oh another shiny freaking nice shaft. shaft. <laughs> yeah, it sounded a little weird, but yeah. And aluminum. Yeah, yeah that's gotta be a heck of a lot lighter, huh? Yeah, it definitely is. Uh, it's gonna withstand oh, actually yeah. a lot more power. These are rated for quite a bit more than I was even aware of. Dude, that's sweet. The other one held up fine too. The other oh, yeah, one was no, great. Those are, those are beasts. Yeah. These are this is actually a bigger beast. That is a four inch, one twenty five wall. Heck yeah. So you should be good up to almost two thousand horsepower, no problem. Nice man. Yeah. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. That thing is sweet. Hell yeah. That is solid. Yeah, Minor dude. Dry shaft, smaller rear end to spin. Right. It'll work. Yeah. <laughs> hopefully, man. We're trying to lose all the weight and kind of get the truck dialed in. So this is definitely a big part of that. Heck yeah. Hell so, yeah, guys. One step closer to getting the truck back out and making some more test hits before UCC. I'm freaking excited, dude. Awesome. I think there's always one flyby when we're here, <laughs> at least one. It's Nebraska. You're either going to see a dunk of music or something loud. <laughs> For real. We're looking at 26.5 roughly. So 26 and a half pounds on that one. And then the bigger, longer, and lighter shaft. And stronger. And stronger. 17.3 oh yeah so almost 10 pounds lighter yeah. about eight pounds eight nine pounds lighter yeah. that's pretty nuts and it's stronger great you spin faster yeah, yeah for more. that whole thing to only be 17 pounds it's pretty nuts so yeah i'm really happy we went the aluminum freaking big boy stuff yeah <laughs> i'm excited man to put it through its paces dang look at that shiny new shaft yeah, man, Universal knocked out of the park on that thing. Uh, should take all the abuse we can throw at it. So really looking forward to uh, trying that thing out. Also awesome, we saved some more weight there. So gonna get this thing buttoned up, take it over the track soon, and uh, see what that new thing can do. Like that new drive shaft hoop you made there. Yep, yep, the other one, I actually couldn't get the drive shaft in and out with the other hoop in there. So had to go ahead and cut that out and make a new one that's removable so that uh, that new big boy can actually come in and out. Nice. So I also wanted to mention, since we were just over at Universal Drive Shafts, we have mentioned that they had a discount code with us in the past. And my goal is to kind of work with companies to help you guys as well. And we are simplifying our code across any companies that we work with. So if you guys want to place an order with Universal Drive Shafts, we do have a code with them. And it is now just Boosted Boys, plain and simple. And you'll save 15% off any drive shafts you guys might want to get. You guys can go to this one in person here in Tampa or order online and they ship worldwide. So huge thanks to uh, Universal Drive Shafts. They've been helping us out. Yeah. Got that new shaft in the race truck, ready to handle all the torques. Yep, the other ones work great too. So I'm sure anything you guys need, they can get you taken care of. So make sure to check them out. And uh, like Kyle said, use our code, save 15%. Oh yeah, so. get this girl ready to go. Heck yeah. track today yes sir see what we can do with it Make got a bunch of changes. jeff from extra g back in town yep yeah. big thanks for him flying down to help get us dialed in uh we're going out today to test to get ready for ucc and we also had a bunch of little stuff we wanted to comb over with the truck so flew him down and uh he's here to help make it happen take the plaid the gapplebees oh yeah the gotta get that tesla rematch yep she's fully charged dude. dude she's ready to go that full charge ain't gonna mean shit later <laughs> trailer today. That is a very snug fit. Whew. She a little 
snug. She's snug as a bug, but she's in here. This is the fun part. I just want to see you crawl out of there. <laughs> really need to get lift off doors made. Come on, Bo. And you get some overhead handles to grab onto. Yep. I'm going to put fiber doors on it soon and they'll be lift off. So it'll just not be here in the first place. guys here we go yeah let's see what the old thing will do hopefully it uh cooperates tonight and we can make a couple hits it's uh looking like it's gonna rain so. yeah hopefully we can get a couple hits in before the yeah weather catches up yep so we're gonna rush up there get in line see what it will do yeah she's been down for a couple months but she's back got the slicks on it got jeff out here putting that smoke in the pipe yes sir and yeah. uh hopefully she makes are you gonna run it all the way down if it feels good maybe later if the whole weather holds out i'm trying to get the eighth mile dial first still focusing yeah. on the uh short track yeah. but everything is prepped ready to go what you think coop think she's gonna go oh yeah it'll do something cool looks heavy but hey that's how he builds them <laughs> are we gonna do a two-step hey, check it up. Two all right oh, two-step yeah. check and then we're going up from Universal about to put that thing to the test I'm excited man wife's been working hard the last couple months getting her back together got the slicks on ready to launch you guys got it pretty spiced up or is it still kind of a shakedown yeah, it's just still a shakedown we got some few or a few things to iron out you know it's it's new build build deal so we just gotta All focus right. some time and we'll A to B and got. then turn it up yes sir soft launch rolling to an 11-3 at 78 I forgot to take his truck out of burnout mode for that first pass. That's why I was really lazy coming out of the hole. He went ahead and put it right back in line. They got that addressed. And I was thinking about running the plaid while we wait for his truck. And he's just like, screw it, bring the plaid up and we'll run it right now. So he's feeling confident that we can uh, line his truck up with the plaid. So we drove this thing all the way out here. She's pretty charged. I let it fully charge before we came out here. And I'm hoping to break 950s in this thing. And uh, hopefully Wyatt's truck can get some redemption against a Tesla plaid. But I'm gonna go ahead and pull this up and we're gonna line it up with Witt's truck. You ready, dude? Yeah, you ready to lose? I'm ready to win with the hey, AC yeah. on autopilot. Uh-huh, putting water down the track. I see our yard. <laughs> so we're about 75% on the battery right now, guys. Last time I was out here, it was under half and my best was like a 9.6, I believe. So I don't see why this thing shouldn't pop off like a 9.40 right now or better. Guy's about to light the first bulb. Guy lit the first bulb on him. Putting the pressure on him. I'm gonna go ahead and get staged up because it takes it like 10 seconds to get into its launch mode. So I'm already double bulbed. Wyatt just did his burnout. He is pulling up next to me. Come on, Wyatt, let's see what you got. Damn, in the burnout box is double bulb, my boy. God damn. Uh, putting the pressure on him, he's gonna leave it in two wheel drive or forget to turn off burnout mode. Treat him. 
dump the chute and all. Last time I caught it. Sick. Basically the same mile an hour. That was probably a full rip. Good thing we put that full bag of ice in there. You got me on the whole shot, man. Trade you hard. I, dude, I wasn't even spooled up. I but, don't have my bump box right hey, now. Hey, I saw you get out behind me, though, and you didn't. Oh, dude, you were not pulling away at all. I wasn't pulling away from you. No. And then, like I said, this still turned down. There's two kits of nitrous. All right, we got so much more to throw at this thing. I thought that was at least a solid mid-nine or maybe better for Probably you. mid-nine. But yeah, it, it didn't come out of the hole. I was gonna go with you. I should have just stayed and did my own race because yeah, I wasn't up but like three pounds of boost. So hey, well, we got the rest of the night. Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully, yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah, that was solid. Is that your first time pulling the chute? That was the first time pulling the chute. It did everything it needed to do that time, so I'm happy with that. Thank you. So I don't see why it's side. Oh, nine three at one forty eight out of the Tesla boys. 148 60 foot that is moving out so crazy how fast these things are right out of the gate tried horrible did a 960 at 150 yeah i was gonna say uh so 630 to the eight so when, when did you win? oh no i ran it out okay it just dude it left so bad i left it like two pounds of boost well yeah i mean because he seeks the age she I dropped know. the three and i was like eh, come on right that guy uh, didn't give you anything absolutely no no <laughs> I wish my bump box worked. I've been a lot better off, but right now the bump box don't work, so it's deep stage and I gotta go. Yep. So, not bad. I mean, it, it won 7660 foot. And yeah, I've been better soft. on skinny radials. Right. Like, Do you uh, feel like that was slightly offensive that he asked you when you lifted? Uh, so and I, you ran it out? That was a little upsetting. <laughs> <laughs> no, I only hey, was that, a, was that an eighth mile hand? <laughs> no, no, no. Only a thousand, right? <laughs> I only asked because we had this discussion earlier and you're like, man, I'm really bad at lifting like when I say I'm going to. Oh well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you didn't, yeah. No, I didn't we put the all, full so. bag of ice in without you knowing. Yeah, it was good, dude. It felt solid, so I was like, dude, whatever. Like, Just let it ride. Let it ride. I wanted to pull the chute, felt it, feels good. Yeah. Hey, so, good deal, now you get to pack a chute. Yeah. I got a post-game interview with him. But oh yeah? Definitely doesn't so this is the post-post interview? Post-post. What'd it do? Uh, 960 at 150. That's about what we thought. Dude, Mid nines. Yeah. Hey, I had to get her in. I had to get her in the cheetah stance. Yeah. I only did a .5 on the tree, so. <laughs> I did a. You did like a two second. Two second. Started with a, a one point. So. Yeah. One point one two. Everything looked good though. Just gonna yeah, we're turn gonna it up from there. Yeah, we're um, We're still kind of diagnosing some stuff, but it seems better. It hasn't gone into limp mode yet, so I think we got that problem taken care of. Uh, so now we're just verifying a couple other things. And, That's uh, a PB, right? Yes, yeah, I've never ran it faster than a 10.0 and 8. Oh yeah, so. It was only a 620, 630, 8 mile, so that wasn't nothing. And it's been the 5.7 before. Been five, seven, it's been half a second faster than that one. Yeah, so uh, hopefully this next pass, I'm gonna just focus on myself and leave hard on the tree and hopefully the suspension works. So, see what it does. All right. If we can cut like a 560 tonight in the 8th, run it out the back, that'd be sick. Yeah, so, eights for sure. Yeah, it felt great down through the back, so. Definitely glad I threw the shoot. I'll probably get more comfortable with it, but it felt like I was going quick. What's the matter, man? You don't want to run the Tesla? I'm scared of the Tesla. <laughs> I'll let you get some test hits in first. Uh, we'll, we'll make something happen tonight. We got Davey out here in his all-wheel drive RSX. So you guys remember him, DC5 Creations. He stopped by the house. He's the one who gave us the battery holder for the hatch. He's out here testing. <laughs> Still got some juice, so let me focus on that. All wheel drive Integra 98140. Not bad. That's not not MR2, but. <laughs> nah, dude, that's badass. That's what I want their Odyssey to do. Oh, yeah, it is the same thing. Yeah, same stuff. Wow. For those of you that don't know, this car's name is Dory because it looks like Dory from Finding Nemo. All right, guys, I'm running Wyatt once again. 
This time I'm just going to give him the hit and take off when I see him go because he's kind of doing his own race. And he turned on the third kit of nitrous, so they're hoping to go a little faster. So this should be a pretty good run. stroke was flying on that pass Ooh, not bad guys another 9.3 at 140 i'm not sure how well you can see that on the gopro i'm not sure how fast why it went i'm gonna go check well you beat the tesla yep tesla got smoked but so did my <laughs> transmission um, was she slipping i saw you let out at the end there yeah so the second it grabbed fourth gear it started slipping so i was talking to the transmission builder and we're gonna we're gonna data log the actual transmission controller this time, see if we can get some more data, see what it's doing. Are they um, gonna go up again? Yeah, we're gonna go make another pass, see if we can get it to replicate that, and also leave harder, see if it'll take the leave. That one looked pretty good though, you were out on me. Yeah, it's still a pretty trash 60 foot, a 147. I mean, 580 though, the best it's ever been is a 57, so. Yeah. Look, 950 letting out, it only 112. Yeah. So, we're gonna get up there in line, go make another hit and see what it does. Are you going to try to run it out and just let up if you feel it slip again? Yeah. Okay. All right, I'm just going to watch Wyatt's next trip and uh, leave the Tesla back here. much torques yeah for real <laughs> maybe that third kit of nitrous was not the answer yeah maybe turn it back down in fourth <laughs> <laughs> turn yeah. down for what right not this poor transmission <laughs> it's not bad though 947 coasting yeah back to back 580s to the eighth almost a 570 there and then that other pass was your best mile an hour to the eighth at 123 yeah which is moving uh, yeah if we can get it to uh if we can get it to hold fourth gear i'd have ran that one out it felt pretty good but is what it is yeah what do you think about tesla sam are you against them or no because you know it's uh it, you know everything of uh, any argument that you want to pull up or anything it has a uh, two sides to it so it's it's here and whether whether some of these guys like it or don't like it they're going to stay they're not going anywhere they're just going to get better and better and better and can't deny how good they are they are they're fantastic i'm telling you and they'll get the range thing down. They'll get the charging stations down. It's already pretty good. I took it to a supercharger yesterday. It went from basically dead to full in about 30 minutes. Because they're, they're getting all that stuff down. Because every, every technology that starts, it just takes a little while to get it all up to where it's like accepted and does well. That's what I like about you. You're not the typical old timer that talks down on the next no, generation. No, you just, no, you accept it all. There's no need of it because I've seen so much of it through my life, you know, leading edge stuff coming along, you know, that you're like, okay. So. Yep, I'm with it on that. Love my turbos and internal combustion, but man, 
Every time I take this thing out, I just can't deny how <laughs> good like, they are. I know it's like it's oh, it's ruining me. Garrett had that one over there. It just there's four of us in the car, big guys, you know, and that thing is just tearing at the pavement down through there. <laughs> oh, it's great. All right, you ready? Make sure your head's back. Oh, I'm ready. I'm ready. Put your head all the way back. We don't need to snap your neck again. We got it. Good. I'm good. <laughs> Isn't that great? Oh, I love it. Yes. I mean, it's just like it's grabbing at the earth. You know what I mean? Yeah, and wow. like, you can't beat the precision of the electric motors for the traction control. You don't got to worry about the cycles of an internal no, it combustion. No, goes. I saw Elon Musk talking about it on a podcast. Imagine trying to run a printer with gas motors to the precision of an electric printer, <laughs> exactly. printer prints. You know, you just can't do it. You can't do it. All right, you ready? One more. Yeah, hit it. <laughs> Isn't that great? Isn't that great? Oh, that is fantastic. <sighs> I love it. What a rush. What do you think about what we're going to do to it? I showed Sam a little sneak peek of my idea. Oh, it's going to be... <laughs> it's going to be something, huh? Oh, and my lips are sealed. On the... I can imagine when somebody comes out there and they say... And then, <laughs> what in the world was that? <laughs> we also got to tell them about what we talked about in Indy. Oh. We might be bringing a little something by. It's sitting right over there. Over by your house? It's sitting right over there. Sounds the like me and Mr. Sam might have it is sitting a right collaboration over the house. coming All up. All you gotta do is come and look and say, yeah, it's a good candidate. Okay, good, it's a good candidate. And uh, just get, them up, get us the bottom line figured out as to what it's gonna take to do the project. And there'll be some surprises too, you know? I think surprises. everyone will love it. Oh, Let's just true. say Sam has a little fox body Mustang and he might be dropping it off to give it the Booster Boys touch. Yes, yes, you know, they might have to change oil in or something like that you know put yeah, their little a touch quick on it, oil so. change and quick oil change yeah. he'll be on his way <laughs> <laughs> well not quite the outing we hoped but you did run a new pb yep you did so, technically beat the tesla once right finally ran it out the back that was really cool was able to throw the laundry and get a feel for how the truck reacts to that and then also thanks to jeff being in town we figured out a bunch of other little stuff that we were kind of messing with with the ecu side of things um, so all that was definitely a huge help, but unfortunately the transmission said it didn't want to behave or didn't want to play nicely last night. So we drive are, shaft held the torque, but yep, the drive shaft was great. Slipping. Transmission not in great shape. Um, the smooth or the fluid smells a little bit burnt. Um, I went ahead and pulled the pan off it, and it didn't look terrible in there. I've seen a lot worse that holds power still, uh, but we're kind of gonna try a new filter in it, see if it was flow related. Um, maybe the filter was just kind of getting a little plugged up because that one's been in there for a while. It's got a lot of potential. We just need to get a handle on the 4L80E. They're not really, they're a very stout transmission, just not in fourth gear. So that's the, that's the thing we're gonna try and figure out and see if we can get dialed in a little bit better. So a lot of guys don't shift to overdrive while drag racing with a 4L. For the diesels, we have to because we don't have the gearing to do it without it, or the RPM, I should say. Do they usually only use yeah, one, one through, through three? Yeah, one through three. So the diesel guys, though, because we can't turn the RPM, a lot of the gas guys do, we have to use overdrive, especially if we run it out the back. Um, I could go one through three. Is there a way three. to just, like, gear it not really to not make with, it go? Not with these differentials. It's got the lowest gear set you could put in these diffs, uh, which is three, the 342s. Um, you could technically gear it differently with some different axles, alleviate problems there, but... I think in the long run we want to try and make it work. It's just going to take a little bit of time to get it there. So have to uh, talk with the transmission guy about that, see what we want to do there, and uh, hopefully get it dialed in. Hey, well, it's slowly going the right direction. Yeah. It's yeah, better like than I the said, last outing. Yeah, it's really, there's really no time on the truck. You know, it's maybe done 15 passes. So on a fresh build, I mean, we're getting it dialed in, all the little things. So now it's just putting the whole picture together. So. Oh, that's it on the race truck for right now. Keep you guys yeah. updated. Go from there on it. See ya. Bye.